Hi there, welcome to Notability. As you can see, I already have Notability installed here on the bottom of my screen. If you don't have access to Notability, you can access it through self-service. Swipe down from the very bottom of your iPad and you can either use the keyboard to search or pull it open right here. And then you'll see Notability as one of those options and you can tap install in order to get access to it. When you launch Notability, yours is going to look a little bit different simply because I've customized the setup of mine. If you come over here in the bottom left, you'll see the gear icon. And this gear icon is what will allow you to make a couple default changes. The themes is where you can change the look. So you can see that I have happened to select dark blue because I like a little bit of a darker theme. Also, my subjects look a little different. Yours probably look like this where you see the colored dots under each one that's a little harder for me to see so i come over here to colorful subjects and i toggle that on so that i can actually see and then you can tap on close whenever you're done the other thing that you can do under your settings is you can back up any of your notes so you can back up to dropbox to drive to onedrive any of those places if you tap on manage accounts, this is where you can log in to those accounts when you're ready to share a note somewhere else. To organize your notes, you'll see that I've created a couple of dividers with subjects dropped down beneath them. To create this, come over here into the top left corner where you see the plus sign and then tap on plus. Here you'll have access to dividers and subjects. To create a subject, you can either tap on that plus sign again, or if you press and hold a divider, then you'll see I can add a subject and you'll see that it drops it right beneath. So I can press and hold, I can rename, delete, and bring things to the bottom. So for this, maybe I don't need it anymore, so I'm going to tap the delete icon. First, I'm going to walk you through how to open a blank note, and then I can show you how to bring in other notes. So here I've got two buttons. One of them down below is the template icon. The other one is that just add new note. So if I tap add new note, if I press and hold, I can scan a document, or if I just simply tap it, I get a blank note within Notability. These three dots up here in the corner, allow you to change the view, but most importantly, allow you to change the look. So here's all of these amazing templates, including extra ones from the gallery, which I'll highlight at the end. If I want ruled notes, you can see I can change the grid spacing. I can adjust that. All of these have that. Here's our Cornell note. We are an avid campus. I can change it to be yellow. You've got some creative, some music staff pages, and even some additional planning documents. You can see that on this particular one, I have starred it because I really like it. So that is gonna be saved as a favorite. So here are my favorites as well, and additional downloads. Or a custom you can also create. Tap apply. I can tap on the T and change the way that my note is titled. Tap on the pen, and if you tap it again, you'll actually see a bunch of different options. So you can change thicknesses for your pen, a calligraphy style if you would like. You even have dotted and solid options as well. For colors, this is most likely what you're going to see on yours. If you keep swiping, you'll see additional colors. The last ones are hearts. Most likely yours is blank. These are colors that I myself have manually added into Notability. So that's why all of these colors are filled. If you wanna change any of your colors, you can either press and hold, where I can either edit or I can delete. You'll also see this favorite right here located at the very bottom. If you tap the favorite icon, most likely, you'll see a star located here in the bottom left. Tap on the star and you're gonna have access to a ongoing toolbar that you can use in any of the notes across Notability. So anytime you're ready to add a color, you can just tap 
and you can start writing. And now I can quickly toggle between all of my different pens. So the eraser tool, you have a couple of different options. You can access it from your favorite toolbar over here, but you can also access it from the top menu. Again, if you tap and tap again, you'll have different kinds of erasers that you can use. So for the eraser, if I choose the whole option, all I have to do is touch and swipe and you'll notice the entire ink stroke disappears. If I change this to partial, this one just lets me erase a little bit of what I need. This option is your highlighter. Again, you'll have access to all of the colors, but when you choose the highlighter option, it just kind of makes it a little bit faded across the board. So let's say I want to draw a circle. Ooh, that's not great. But if I press and hold, now I've created a nice circle. If you tap it again, you can actually start editing that circle. So you have a style option. So you can change the outline if you want to make it orange and you can even choose how to fill that color. Or some other options that you have in the toolbar are going to be this amazing tool. I call it the lasso and you have two types of lassos. You have the box and you have the free hand. If I draw a box around a word or a phrase and I tap it again, I have a couple of different options. Style is one of my favorites because if I write something in red and later I want to change it and start color coding my notes before sharing with students, that's one option with the lasso. The other one that is nice is the convert option. So you'll notice that I can change this into text or I can change it to math and I'll always be allowed to check how it looks. This yes also works for any kind of math phrases. You may also use the lasso tool to convert anything to other kinds of text. Let's say I'm an amazing drawer and this is something I just want to have access to all the time. I want students to heart all of the things in their notes. So let's say I want to save this. So grab your lasso and you can either keep the box or if you want a free hand, which makes it a little bit easier to select everything that you need, tap it again and now choose the save option. And you'll see that I have a custom sticker that I am allowed to use. These stickers you can access across any notes within Notability. Tap on this plus feature as well to see all the other things that you can combine, all the types of media. Photo library allows you to pull in from your iPad. You can immediately open up the camera. This could be incredibly helpful if you'd like to take a picture of student work and drop it immediately with a notability. So here's a picture of student work. I like it. I'm going to use this photo. Now I can resize it. I can also tap and move it. And now I can even annotate on student work. I really like what this person shared. Do you guys notice this part in her work? I really want to highlight it. You also have a laser pointer. So if you want to highlight something as well, very, very helpful when you connect your iPad to your Apple TV. Other options you have would be other stickers. So these are my stickers up here, but you might also see some extra ones below. You also have the browse more feature. Yes, you can even insert a document scan immediately. You can also insert a fun GIF of anything that you think is amazing and hilarious. And you also have access to other sticky notes as well. If that's other media that you're interested in using. If you tap the two pictures, you can see an outline of your document. So that can make that process a little bit nicer. If you swipe from the left side of the screen, you're going to have access to all of your other notes. It's called your note switcher. Let's say there's a time in class where you're walking through your notes, but you want to have an ongoing list of students that you've either talked to students you need to check in with. Maybe it's an answer key for your notes. Maybe it's questions you want to be sure you ask campus reminders. I'm going to snag this note and bring it over. Now you're going to see that I have a dual screen option built into Notability. And then this blue bar will let me resize and reshape which note I would actually like to do. If I don't need both notes, that's okay. Simply press 
and swipe the note away to get rid of it. Another thing you may have seen is this Zoom box down below. This Zoom box is a great way if you need to write in very, very small spaces. So you'll notice that I'm writing in the very bottom of my screen, but at the top, it's actually filling in. So I can move this Zoom box wherever I need and start to write in very, very small spaces. These arrows help you move the box over left and right. This one moves it to a new line to help you quickly and move, but you can always use your finger if you need to move the box somewhere else. Tap the zoom if you'd like to disable that. Tap on your Shero, which is located in the top left corner, and you'll see that I can share to, email, or print. So I'm gonna tap share to, on the format, I'm going to choose PDF since that's what students will be using. So I'm going to choose PDF. I can choose which pages my students have. So tap on the share note option. And now you'll see I can send it through the mail. I can post it on a class wakelet. I can send it to Google Drive. I can send it to a student's email. All of these are options and Google Classroom. If you tap on the import option, which is located right up here in the right corner. You can notice that I can pull directly from my files, from Dropbox, and I can pull from Google Drive. Here you can pull in any kind of PDF, so maybe Algebra 2 files. So you'll see that I can either create a brand new note or I can add it to an existing note. You have this new option located in the top right corner. If you tap on new, you can create a free Notability account. You'll see my profile picture is already filled. And these are everything that you have access to, yes, for free. If you have anything that is unfilled, so all of these notes are not in a place, all I have to do is simply press and drag where I need it to go. So I want this to go in my template folder. And now it's located here. This is an example of Google Slides that I've imported into Notability. The biggest thing is your Google Slides must be exported as a PDF. Go ahead and open up your Google Slides app on your iPad. So I'm going to tap, let's say this one I'd like to mark on. I'm going to go through it with my kids. Go ahead and tap on the three dots in the upper corner. Tap on share and export you're gonna see send a copy. When you send a copy, you'll see PDF as one of those options and tap OK. Notice when it's done, you have, ta-da, a notability option. And that is how you can send any Google slide or Google doc directly into notability.